Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Chris here. In today's video, I thought we'd check out the new Universal Audio Rotary Speaker plugin. Let's go. So, as you can tell, change of scene. I'm actually in Las Vegas at the minute with my family on vacation, but we've had a, a day off to unwind, so I figured I would record something whilst I'm here. Clearly, I had my camera. Cut this on B-roll of the desert. <laughs> Yeah, whilst I was here, I realized Universal Audio have dropped a new plugin, so I figured, let's check it out. Obviously, I don't have any of the studio stuff here, but it doesn't mean we can't check it out. We've got some loops, we've got some logic loops, and we've got some splice loops, and we can just dive in and see what it's like. So this is the plugin, classic Universal Audio, nice GUI. Normally, you don't tend to find rotary-style plugins external from a organ plugin, you know? And this, I believe, is taken from their B3 plugin that they put out earlier last year. But it sounded so good that I guess they decided to put it separate, which is cool because at the same time it allows you to use it on other items which normally you wouldn't put a rotary speaker on. So I figured let's dive in and see what funky sounds we can get out of this. Okay, so to start us off, I've just got a nice little organ loop. I've turned off the rotary cabinet on the actual plugin so you can hear what this is doing. Let's just quickly hear it without. Nice organ sound, you're used to it. Let's get this on. Awesome, so obviously on an organ that doesn't sound too out of this world because clearly the two are matched very well together. But maybe let's try it on another instrument and then we can dive into the plugin and see how it really works. Lovely, so you can hear it's got this awesome chorus effect. Diving into it, I can see you've got this horn and this drum balance. So you're picking the balance between the top and the bottom section of the cabinet. You can actually kind of use it as a filter, you know, if you wanted that, that effect, because the drum is clearly a lot darker than the horn, which is kind of mainly top end. So using that, we could probably even automate this balance, but let's quickly check out the different variations we can get from this plugin. <laughs> So it's nice, looking at the bottom, you can actually pick between a mono and the stereo setup. So if you're listening on a phone, you probably won't really hear this, but if you're on headphones, you can hear it go from the center to the sides, and you actually have two variations of where the mics are, either on the far sides of the cabinet or kind of more traditional in the front, as well as being able to put the drum mic position either on axis or off axis. Let's hear what that sounds like. <laughs> Very subtle, maybe you hear a bit more of that kind of tremolo effect going on, but there you go. Let's try a different sound. All right, so we've got some piano here. Let's listen to that.
So I just have to say that drive knob is doing loads, but it's doing a lovely bit of drive. It kind of sounds like obviously it's adding this distortion, but maybe a bit of compression or something. It's all kind of linked together, but at the end of the day, it just sounds, sounds lovely. even hear the click when you change between the speeds whilst it's playing anyway here obviously you've got some acceleration deceleration that would just be the speeds as you change between this how quickly it speeds up or slows down but besides that not too much else going on maybe we'll flick through some presets try a couple different elements and see what we get i've actually got a vocal here that i'd like to try on again maybe not your first go-to option when you're trying out this plugin but let's see what it gives us Keep it Clearly a lovely selection of microphones to pick from the bottom as well. You've got quite a variety and they seem to be different. Um, well, some are the same, but some are a bit different. On the horn, you have a couple more options. And on the drum, you've got a couple of different kind of variations that are probably a bit more suitable for it. Sounds lovely. Wow, on this one in particular, you can really hear the difference between kind of the slow and fast and as well as the kind of mono and stereo variation. I think something for this I would prefer personally a mono, but you know, it's a great way of making something mono stereo and making it fit on kind of both sides of your headphones as opposed to just sitting in the middle. Sounds lovely though. I do really like using this balance as a filter. I think it's quite nice. It's obviously uh, quite tasteful. It's not just doing your kind of EQ, cutting off the top, cutting off the bottom, but I guess that with a bit of taste, right? Because you can pick these different microphones, but yeah, sounds great. Again, this isn't a super complex plugin, so I'm not gonna get too deep into this video, but just showing off what's new from Universal Audio and can't complain, it sounds great. Just try to flick through some presets, see where we go. I think the presets are a beautiful thing because <laughs> clearly I would not consider whacking the volume up to 10, but there we go. It's doing it and it's sounding great.
interesting. I didn't realize the volume clearly goes into the drive, so one affects the other. So you can have the drive cranked and the volume quite low and then get a mild effect, or I can have them both cranked, or maybe one and then the other not so much. And, you know, it will affect it accordingly. But yeah, it's good. Sounds great. Yeah, that's basically it. This has been the Universal Audio Waterfall Rotary Speaker. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please uh, give us a like and uh, subscribe and all of that good stuff. This week was a bit of a gap because uh, there was a lot of things going on, but now we're going to go back onto schedule. Also going to go back into the live streaming on, I think we're going to go for Mondays now because Sundays was a bit awkward, but uh, stay tuned for that. Obviously new video every Wednesday. Yeah, once again, I've been Chris Vella and I'll catch you on the next one.